get that. We have some good news for people who want to travel across the Mackinac Bridge. Yeah, and I know there's a couple of communities here in the UP that may want to do that tomorrow as their team has made it to Saturday's basketball games in East Lansing. Jake will have more on that coming up here in just a bit. But for the Mackinac Bridge here, it is now open here. It was closed most of the day, and rightfully so, falling ice off the bridge. You don't want to be driving on the Mackinac Bridge, and all of a sudden, a big chunk of ice comes tumbling down. It's not like it's coming down from your gutter down to your driveway. It's coming down hundreds of feet, and it's gaining momentum and it's gonna go through your windshield probably. So it was probably a good idea that they did close it. But there's the email I just got here, and there's your official notice. Northbound and southbound I-75, Mackinac Bridge, all lanes open. So that is some good news there. As we go to our 906 Weather Watchers page, Beverly Kozell sent in this nice photo there. As we advance, expand this, you can see the cathedral in the background there. Some ice though still in the distance and the last of the clouds moving to the east as well. Police station down there as well and then that's looking towards Mark downtown Marquette there in the distance. Thanks Beverly for sending that in. As we look at some other 906 weather watcher photos here, Patty Layton in Scandia sent in a squirrel getting some morning breakfast it looks like. Thanks Patty for sending that in and Terry sent in a picture of a bird there. Thanks for getting that photo there. She sent in another one saying they were out for their walk this morning with Charlie and there's Charlie right there going through the snow and ice. Thanks Terry for sending in that photo and then we got tons of birds and squirrels and that's what we like here at local three sending in your photos of the birds and squirrels. Marie sent this in and she had new friends and it wasn't birds and squirrels here. It was deer that came to the bird th feeder this morning or this afternoon it looks like and they were having some breakfast or lunch. Thanks Marie for sending that in and then we have some other photos. Dan Meshagod he's down in the south central UP here and you can see he had a view of the uh, trees that were just still iced over this morning here. Ice storms can be beautiful. They can also cause some major headaches and this is the pretty part of it here with the trees just iced over and I noticed as I was coming into downtown Marquette looking to the south on Front Street it was just beautiful in the higher terrain with the trees all iced over. Same view here in the south central UP. Thanks Dan for sending that in and then Marianne Taylor. More she, birds. But she got geese. Yes, she got geese. Yeah, yes, she got geese kind of that showed up. <laughs> Maybe that's a sign of spring there. So hopefully that's a sign of thing, spring. Thanks, Marianne, for sending that in. And then Ron sent this in. He said he had a few down trees this morning along his for his walk along the trail in Manistique. Luckily, no one, no trees were blocking the trail there. So that is definitely some good news there. The trees came down in the ice from yesterday. Thanks, Ron, for sending that in. Cindy, tree in her front yard still had some ice on it this morning in Escanaba. Thanks for sending that in. And then she sent in some other photos as well. Thank you for sending that in. Thanks Thanks for joining our 906 Weather Watchers page. Last one because we're a little bit short on time. Kev this morning sent this in. He had the ice on the trees and then some snow last night building up on the trees too. Bird feeder there in the background. Thanks Kev. Wes Ishming for sending that in. If you'd like to join our 906 Weather Watchers page, weather photos, squirrels, deer, geese, anything, we'll take them. We'll show them off on our Local 3 newscast. Becca and I would love to do that. All right, let's get you to our Local 3 radar network here. That's the extended forecast. I'm going to requeue the map here and show you our Local 3 radar network. And you can see we do have the last of the snow moving on through the northern lower peninsula here. The rest of the UP is dry. And as we look at temperatures, you can see 29 degrees. So your international 31 for Munising and 34 degrees for Escanaba. What's ahead? Mostly clear for the overnight hours, but we do have a chance of rain and a chance of snow here for your daytime hours on Friday. Behind that cold front, that's going to touch off the rain and snow. It does turn colder for Friday night and also the weekend. This weekend is going to feel like winter with some snow showers and also some gusty winds. Here's our community forecast here. We'll start you off in the Copper Country for Houghton and Hancock 24 tonight, 25 Barragon Lantz, and then 26 for Ontonag. And as we go into the western UP, some spots, including Iron River and Crystal Falls, could fall into the teens. And then as we go into the south central UP and along Lake Michigan, 23 tonight, Powers, 21 Rock, 28 degrees for Manistique. For Newberry tonight, 27 degrees, 29 Grand Marais, 27 for Munising, and 20 tonight for Trenary. Marquette County for tonight along the lakeshore, 29 degrees, 23 for Ishmaeming and Nagani, and 20 degrees for Gwynn tonight. 26 for Marquette tonight, no weather issues, just cold. 40 for tomorrow.
before the cold front swings on in, turns noticeably colder tomorrow night, and then a winter-like day for Saturday, and then once again for Sunday. And then as we look at Escanaba and Gladstone, 26 tonight, 41 before the cold front shows up, and then it does turn colder for the weekend. A few snow showers Saturday night or Friday night on into Saturday.